Although I kind of fiddled it in my Ravelry page. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it the same? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's the wrong thing to do. Yeah, but now you've just told everyone. <laughs> I've told everyone. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to Yarn Story. I'm Carmen. I'm Susan. And uh, we are back with another episode of our knitting podcast. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Susan and I have just worked the first day of the sale. Very busy. Very, very busy day. Very busy day. We definitely deserve the wine yes, that we is do. in front of us. Yes, we do. Um, as long as you don't fall off the stool. Well, yes. Uh, yeah. We I'll also, we don't have any knitwear. We can't like start with what we're wearing because it is hot. It's very, very warm. I have no summer knits. You have some summer knits. Yes. Well, I, I was going to. Susan's just going to show off her new I was going to do what we're wearing. Um, I did a, a, a ranunculus, <laughs> a little ranunculus. Which was great. It's so good. I've been wanting to do it for a while. And what's on there? Something just on? a little bit of fluff. Just a little thread. Out of fluff. Two skeins. Perfect. Bing bang. You are on your microphone now though. Oh, sorry. I'm That's okay. okay. <laughs> That's okay. Two skeins <laughs> off the microphone. Um, and it was great. Yeah. Flew off. Yeah. So you had I, that done very quickly. Yeah. I don't know. I think I was in Canada and you, I came back and you were like, look. I just have the sleeves to do. No, the sleeves are done. The sleeves do themselves. Yeah, they cast them off on that that one. Oh, maybe that's it. You were like, I have just have the ribbing. To do something. Just ribbing. Yeah, just, just ribbing. Yeah. yeah, it went really fast. And um, two skeins of fluff, size three. Brilliant. Great. Locked out. A lot of ease. Yeah, easy to wear. One more finished object for Ooh. season. <laughs> it's not a competition. <laughs> you are clearly winning. No, I'm not. It's I just enjoy knitting. So, hey, there we are. Um, yeah, and you actually, I was looking at that one, the over there, your and Vensel. It's got yes. another sample here in the shop, um, which is summer very nice. Knit. Summer knit. Yeah. But you're wearing a dress, not a knitwear item today. No. It is so, it's, it's too hot. really warm in the shop. It's, um, it wouldn't be unless it was a camisole. Yes. But mine's still not done either. Yeah. Uh, so we'll dive right into the wine. Into the wine. Right. You chose the wine. I chose the wine. And you read the description. So read, tell us about the I read the, the description. Wine. Oh, I've got to get my phone out again. Sorry, folks. Um, this is from our out. sponsors, Wolf Wines, Wolf once wine, again. Okay. Uh, they, Angus basically dropped off a selection of wines for us for the season. Some reds, some whites. It's too hot to drink red, so we're having this lovely chill. Hungarian wine. Yeah. Dry white, 100% cake new, <laughs> 6,500 bottles made. That's not many at all. That's not many at all. It's got an unrestrained temper. Ooh. And you know that it's <laughs> worth waiting for. You write as always. The wine comes to a standstill and its merits are there for you to see in their full splendor. Mm. Grapefruity, salty, wal salty walnut. Sorry, mm. not salty, common walnut. Grapefruit, salty walnut, rosemary, and so many stories. Now it's our turn to tell our story to the wine. <laughs> well, we're going to do just that. I can see why Angus picked this one for yes, us. It's a yarn um, story. A yarn story. Very good. Right. Well, Ooh, it is. It's very fragrant. Very fragrant. Very fragrant. Cheers. I don't know what the alcohol percentage And so the winery is called Sabar. 13 and a half percent. Okay. Okay. It's okay. okay. It's fine. We deserve Not it. Not low alcohol. It's Friday evening. <laughs> Inventory on Sunday. Mm. I got day two of the sale. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Quite like that. That's very slide down. That is. <laughs> Tasty. Ooh. A little bit spicy as well. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Nice. It was right when it said it's not what you would expect of the grape. No, it's not. Ooh, that's nice. This is dangerous. This it is. This is quite <laughs> very drinkable. <laughs> drinkable. Very cold. And it, it's it is cold. Yeah. It's yeah. In the fridge for a bit. Mm. So. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, 13% um, though. That is an absolute delight. Highly recommend. Yes. So if you aren't on our mailing list, you might not know that we have a sale this weekend. And it's our annual we don't want to count the inventory sale mm -hmm. which i have been doing since our very first year have you okay. i have yeah yeah um i thought maybe i'd talk a little bit about why we do that okay as opposed to other things okay. just because you know 
Yeah. I think people like are curious about shop. how businesses are run. Exactly. German shops exactly. are run. Um, I, you know, I personally have a bit of a theory that everybody's like, oh, there used to be like a yarn shop on every street. And, okay. you know, there used to be loads and loads yes. more yarn shops. Yarn shops yeah. And now it's like a novelty. I mean, we hear it when people pass yes, all the yes. time. Ooh. Ooh, it's a knitting shop. How cute. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Lots um, of that. And the bigger yarn companies definitely have a seasonal, you know, they try to sell you a spring, summer yarn. Yeah, yeah. And then autumn, like, winter yarns. Like clothing. Then, yes, it, absolutely like clothing and novelty yarns. Mm. And then they bring out like a very big pattern book. Like Rowan does mm -hmm, this, mm -hmm, definitely mm -hmm. used to do it more. Mm -hmm. And you have this yarn available for these 20 patterns in this book for like three or four months. That's it. And then it gets discontinued. And then it's gone. Yeah. And then, so you, you as the knitter don't have a chance really to fall in love with it. No. Because we don't can't. all knit as fast as Susan. We can't. No, but you can't do all those projects. In yeah. The book. Usually in the book, there's maybe one or two you want to do anyway. Yeah. That's and my, you might that was my experience in those yeah. knitting days. And I think maybe. the thing too is, um, I look through stuff and I fall in love with the pattern later. Yes. You, know, you don't always fall in no. love with it on first no. glance. No. And then you can't get the yarn for it because it got discontinued and the store had to buy a certain quantity mm -hmm. at the beginning of the season, mm -hmm. sell as much as they possibly could, and then sell it off at a deep discount. Yes. Because there no more patterns. there's no more patterns, there's no more available to order from the manufacturer, mm. etc. So you get into this cycle just like fast fashion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I personally think that is part of the debt, like how there was a big um slump in the industry yeah because we be. all pretended mm -hmm. we were fast fashion yes um and i very much believe that the yarn we have on the shelves is good for a very long time it is it is um, it's going so we mm -hmm. I very much believe in ordering yarns that we can get again yes in colors that have some longevity yes that's not to say we don't have anything no that, that's like a little bit trendy or uh, no, well, we uh, might to. not be like super popular two years from now maybe not but there are things over their time isn't there? yeah there, i mean there is trend as well yeah. in wool isn't there a bit but it's it's more sustainable to have navy blue is going nowhere at the moment anyway well no i just mean like navy blue will oh, navy always. Blue always be always yeah yeah, yeah and cream yeah always. Navy blue cream hey um yeah <laughs> cobalt, maybe cobalt. Blue. <laughs> Our new favorite. <laughs> we actually don't really have any cobalt in no, the shop at no. the moment. Yes, I am. Um, uh, don't worry. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're on it. We're going to get some cobalt. That's so, a bit over there. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of. Not yeah, really. Not really. Julie no. Asland does a really nice cobalt. Does she? Okay. That we will get back in. Yeah, nice. Mm. Nice. So instead nice. of uh, falling prey to cycles of sales, because mm -hmm. we don't have the margin for that no. in our well, industry no. at all. Or the energy. It's a lot of energy mm -hmm. to run sales and mm -hmm. discount things. Mm -hmm. um, we just do an inventory sale once a year. Mm -hmm. And it's a good sale. It's it like, is a good sale. It's, it's a real sale. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's what yeah. I remember a sale being when I was a kid. Yes. Yes. Not just stuff in the corner. Let's get rid of. Yeah. Yeah. So. It's... And we've seen some people take advantage. Today. We have. <laughs> it's but been a good day. It's been a good day. <laughs> I also loved. So we um, this year we've done it. I've done sort of different things every year. Mm -hmm. we, we change it up a little bit. Yeah. This year, what we've done is it's 10% off everything in the store. Yeah. For Friday and Saturday. Um, this will all be over by the time this airs. It will so be. So don't, <laughs> don't get too excited. Disappointment. Uh, <laughs> and then when you get to the till, there's a lucky draw fishbowl. Yeah. And you can pick a discount. So it might just be the 10%. Uh-huh. Or it could Ooh, be... A few exciting moments at the show. Yes. So we did have someone draw the 50% off we did. today. We did. We did. Which was very exciting. Very exciting. Very exciting. I get very excited. And, and don't worry. It's the same time every year. Yes. Probably we won next year. So plan. Yes. The end of June. <laughs> end if of you June. want to visit us. Always. That's, <laughs> that's when our year end is and we have to count things. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> we have a sale. <laughs> there is a sale. So Next year. <laughs> yeah. Um, but mm. yeah, that's why we run the inventory sale that we run. Mm -hmm. Is, it works for us. And it's um, such a great idea. Our friends in Montreal, kind of 
Yes, I mean, there are a few places that... That's such a good idea. They do it this weekend as well. I mean, in fairness, uh, I took the idea from my friend Jen, who used to run the Purple Pearl in Toronto. Oh, okay. So that is where... I don't know if it was her original idea, but that's where I got the idea from. And it it is definitely in other places. Filters through, yes. Very good idea. It's a good idea. idea. Yeah. uh, It's a great idea. And less yarn on Sunday, less to count. Yes. But there's always buttons. (laughs) There's always (laughs) buttons to count. (laughs) So true. So true. Uh, So, do you have anything? Well, do you want to do your finished project first? Or what you're working on first? Uh, well, I'm working. Oh, how it working on? Working okay. on a summer. Knit. I have things I'm working on as well. You're going to try the other one on. It's so hot. <laughs> You're sitting in the sunshine. I'm in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha. Um, so I'm working on. Ooh, ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sorry, I've just got to check the pattern name because I always get mixed up. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah. that your high hammer bag matches your dress. I know. <laughs> Look at that. Like oh, it could, I could be my dress. <laughs> Do you like blue? No, not much. Um, so I'm making the Cumulus Tea by Petit Knits. It's not blue. I'm going way off again on a green. Oh, my goodness. little trend, a little green thing. Apparently green's a good color on me. Green is a good and, color. And um, so it's Cumulus Tea in Knitting for Olive Silk in Khaki, which I'm... Yeah, slowly but surely. 3.3, I think. I know, we'll just a three. Bit closer to the camera. Just a three, it I think is it is. A beautiful, I would call it an army green. Yeah, it's the Brits would call it a color. khaki green. Khaki um, green, and because I can read olive these green, needles, if possibly. I have. On a three. On a three. Yeah. Mm. So, um, it's a much denser fabric than my camisole. So, I haven't. Don't think I've done much on this size needle. So the gauge is uh, there was some there was a question. So the question, you know, my gauge is a little bit uneven, but I'm hoping we'll it's going to block Q&A. out. And um, so it's a good round and round and round mm. television. I just de decompress knit, and um, I'm just not sure how long I'm going to make it. I hope it, I think it fits. I've tried it on. It's going to fit. It looks like it's going to fit. Maybe. And a bit of sleeves, and I'll be done. Yeah. So I just get this one done before August. I think you should think about cropping it, keeping it cropped. E, maybe. E. You could you could do the trick on this one because it's just the under trick. your I could do the trick. Now. Right, that would involve. It would not involve much at all. Much. Okay, no. I could do the trick. Yeah, if you did it like right now. What? Decrease a bit. Decrease a bit, yeah. What, every four rounds? Well, I, you'd have to do the math. Oh, Right, to the so, waist. So, um, Susan and I have regularly, are regularly discussing our boobs, <laughs> if we're honest. Well, we're not really. <laughs> well, our, uh, how yeah. things fit. How things fit. Yes. How things fit or not. Or not. As the case um, may be. Yes. Because I'm very small-shouldered, mm-hmm. and my waist is gone, but I have, still have a bit of a waist. You and, have a small waist. And, yeah, yeah and so it's um, just getting things to not look oversized below the bust really, yes and not look out of proportion so yes so and I have I, while I have broad shoulders and a large bust I my waist is not, not small so I like it's all about giving the illusion of, a, of these things these things right um, okay well I don't want to give the illusion of any bigger breasts bust than I have however <laughs> A smaller waist would be nice. But it's all about things that fit correctly. Yeah, so you think I'm hung not too far. Right? No, I think you're probably fine because that is up there. Actually further up there. So I mean you could probably have put bus starts I in that as well. But if you don't I mean Would they show though? They do show yeah, a bit. I'm not sure I like yeah. that so much. So and what Amanda's I is really good at that. Amanda's yes. brilliant at that and everything she makes fits her beautifully. Yes. And it's, but she's also dressed makes clothes. Yes. She's so. a She's a proper fashion designer. Um, but so what, just do the math to take it down to waist size a bit? Or yeah, just, so or I just would just decrease a bit. You could just decrease a bit. So is there a ribbing on the end of it or anything? Yeah, uh, uh, I-cord. An I-cord, okay. You just need to figure out like how many stitches you want to end with. All right. So, okay. and how much you want to take it in. And where would you do it on the sides? Yeah, well, I would do it evenly around the body. Oh, so as you go. Yeah, Every but so you, wanna, you don't want to like decrease too quickly. No, you do want to just 
gradual. A little bit, yeah. Just a gradual. Oh, I might do that. Yeah, that's yeah, good like idea. If you took it in like half an inch even. Yeah. It would. So that would only be about yes. four times. Yeah. Knit together or sip, sip, yeah, knit. something like that. Something like that. Just hide a bit. I think that could. That it's not would be about good. Hiding. It's about no, no, getting no, close not hiding. Fits. No, um, you know, get them yeah. down. And um, the idea was to wear white linen trousers. That, that was my idea. Amazing. Do you um, have white linen trousers? Yes, I do. Oh, I was just going to say, do you need to go buy them? No, I don't. Nice. No, and on the west coast later this year. <laughs> yes. So yes. that's that. Yeah. Okay. Very well, I with the way that's coming out. I also have, I mean, I'm going to bring this project out for probably the 12th time on this podcast because I have my... Oh, but it is beautiful. It is. And oh, my get finished. Over. I also want to get this done for Seattle. Yes. For the West Coast. Wow, these are all sorts of stuff in there. Oh, what's um, that? Those are extra needles. Oh, extra needles. Um, oh, because you did this, the... Uh, did you do the... I don't know why they're in there. Are they there to do this, the straps? Maybe? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, well, if you're looking for them, you know where they are. Yeah. So I need to try this on too. I know this is going to grow because my gauge on the knitting for all of silk is much looser than yours. Oh, okay. It's going to grow. Yeah. It's so nice though. I it's mean, it's so broken nice rib. So it's rib. broken rib. Yeah. Uh, it's just going to, I just want it to be like a loose. Yeah. Cute. Nice. Pink. Cute. I think yeah. I need to do the strap soon. I would do the strap so that I can try, try it on. on. Yeah, uh, and then so this is currently my sit around like yeah. and talk to people project because it's, it's just around and around and around broken rib. Well, um, just put a put a bit of string in it, the bottom of it. Do your straps and try it on, and yeah. you'll know where you want to well, get to. Do the straps on them. Yeah, the PMs. yeah, so. yeah. That'll work. That would yeah. be great. And then, and then you'll know where you are. I mean, right. in fact, we like the knitting for all of so much that we thought. Oh yeah. Oh, oh. We thought we got all excited. We did. So I went to Taylor Swift on Friday, <laughs> which I won't talk about too much because Kaylee came with me, and we'll have to talk about it together. You will. Yes, Kaylee's unfortunately sick this week. I also, didn't go, but I made bracelets for everyone. Susan did participate Yay. in the bracelet making. I have one of yours right there, Dude. the lavender hazel. Lavender that you made. haze. Yeah, our new color. It's, it is our new yes. color. Fantastic. Um, I almost went. You almost went. But anyway, we won't talk about that. <laughs> Kaylee and I will talk for a while about it, I'm you sure, will. next episode. <laughs> I'll go another time. Yes. Maybe. Well, there's August. You could try and get no, tickets. No. They're, they're crazy. Yeah. Um, but as many people saw, Taylor stepped out in a the... very cute crochet dress. She did. <laughs> and so we thought... Mm -hmm. You could do it in knitting for olive. Yep, two it, strands two held together. Two strands held together, and that would be just the most amazing it would thing. Be so gorgeous. It would be so amazing. It so, would be better than the dress she could But wearing. it would be better because it means full silk. Yeah. In, in fact, we could write to her and say that we'll, you know, we could make this for Dear you. Dear Taylor, would you like a replica of your dress? A better dress than your dress. <laughs> <Nicer> than <laughs> anyway, so it's gone all viral with uh, lots of yes. other kind of yarns yes which is fine yeah um but if lots you, of cotton options cotton of, yeah but um i just thought oh it'd be so amazing in silk be so really and so i was got the videos out started trying to do i'm not a crocheter really mm. sort of chain and then and then do the you know through the whatever and it looks i mean she makes it look so easy on the video the lady yeah. who's got a video up on youtube but um anyway it's it's maybe a bag <laughs> Maybe a <bag. laughs> Taylor Swift inspired bag. It's quite long. I mean, it's a hundred. Yeah, I mean, fifty something down. I mean, it's a lot of because you're, yeah. you're doing it this way across, right? Yes. And yes. and then I don't know how to. Amanda would know, but you know. You, yeah, I mean, I did want, send it to her, and I was like, Amanda, you don't. I mean, you want it to sort of flare at the bottom, and mm. you've got to do crochet in pieces. I don't know how you do that, and a bit of flare on the sleeve. But it, it's a great dress. It was mm -hmm. a cute dress. It was a really cute dress. Yeah. So and um, you know. Very happy for the designer who made it and Absolutely. is sold out it's online for her. For like it's I think fantastic. that's fantastic. Yeah, and I love that like it's gotten people making mm. something because mm. there are definitely people who are like, oh, I'm gonna dust off my crochet yes. skills, and, yes, and make one for my dog. Yeah, that was a good one. There's <laughs> someone who's made one for their dog, a little dog, which I could do. You can Not for peaches. No, I don't actually wear it anyway. She's too hot. Yeah, but then it would look very cute. Yeah, it would look <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't wear it though. <laughs> Try to put a Christmas jumper on her, and oh, she, yeah. she just looked in the corner like, "What are you doing?" So that was it. She was like, 
She's like, not going to wear clothes. So anyway, that was that. She did wear a bandana once. She did, five briefly. <laughs> but yeah, she's not a clothes. She's not the kind of doll you can dress up. Anyway, we digress. Yes, and, we do. Um, so finished. I've got something finished. Well, I'm going to just finish with, I'm going to do finish my your, whips. Your, your whips, okay, um, that you have with you. Yes, I have it with me. Yeah. Oh, that's coming along nicely. Yeah, so this is the Bella Blocking, uh, which I haven't knit on actually since I started bracelet making. So I did this in like a day because I had to rip back. You had to rip the whole thing back because I messed up the short rows. Yeah. But yeah. it's very fascinating. I am doing my Bella Blocking in just fluff. That's going to be amazing. Yeah. so light it's gonna be really light that's gonna be great i love this pattern so much though and i love yours i might do a second one yes Oops. this is right there if you remember beverly was wearing it last time. oh was she wearing it last time yeah that's that's one i did which i can't wait to wear but um not the weather yet and if you're wondering why i have i'm holding on to needles on live stitches and there's needles hanging off the bottom which is actually my working yarn it's because you start this sweater with Judy's magic cast on yep. for the shoulders. Exactly. It's a little bit like, what is happening? But it's quite clever. But it's really clever. It is very clever. Very clever. So And then you just pick them, you don't even pick them up, you just start and you knit the front. Yeah. No picking up. Which is quite nice, really. Yeah. If you don't just as long as don't think about it too much. Just, yes. just go, okay, I'll do this. And I think that's the thing with Anne's patterns. Just yeah. don't overthink them. Just get on and Follow yes. the instructions exactly. And that's all is there. How I messed up. Yeah, the I, know, rows. I know. I did the same. So, so this is, I'm using Cinema, the red. Um, oh, that's your neck. That's my neck. Here. Yeah. And then I'm going to use English Rose, which is the light Fantastic. pink as the bottom. Yeah. I'm hopefully still Cropped. getting. Cropped. Yeah, I'm not going to do super long. No, and crop sleeves are long. I think I will see proportionally yes, when I powers. am able to try yeah. it on yeah. uh, where we end yeah. up. Uh, but yeah. I want this done for Seattle Absolutely. as well. Yeah. So I've got these two projects to that. get done for Seattle. Okay. And, and oh, just, I just wound some yarn. You did. Because someone wants something. Danny has requested some socks. Okay. So I let him pick some yarn from my stash. Yes, very nice. This is a club colorway from Les Garçons. Very nice. I don't know what it's called. It's very nice. Um, I've wound it into two small balls. And what size needle? I'm going to do 2.25s. Okay. That's what I prefer yeah. my... Yeah. But I'm going to do two at a time socks for the first time. Okay. He would also like these because we're going hiking in Oregon. For and Seattle. He, he so wants them... no time pressure there then? Nope. Three projects to, to get finish. done. In what, like six weeks? You got a long flight. Yes, we do have a long flight. <laughs> <laughs> time in the lounge. <laughs> After the sale's done, I can just like chill out, just right? Just go and like, knit, yeah. Nothing else to do. <laughs> no ordering do. or restocking or anything. No, we're just... Filling we're just, the empty shelves. Oh, Carmen's... Where's Carmen? Carmen's knitting. I'm just yes, knitting. She's just knitting. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we're all slaving away. No, I'm, I think... Um, I, well, I might join you in the two at a time socks mm -hmm. because I've got a tiny bit of little toe done for some <laughs> socks for toe. Isla. <laughs> and that, just a little bit it increases. Like, it's just a little point of it. <laughs> so... But I, I like it, but I just kind of got distracted yeah. doing other things as you do. And it was a bit, it was a bit fiddly, the two at a time. But it, mm. as long as I don't, I mean, I should be able to do it because I can hold two yarns and I'm not tangling. And yeah. Stuff. So, but you almost need two ball bags. Like, can you need a ball in each bag? I only have one ball bag. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you, you need another ball bag. Anyway, so I might join you. I'm and, sure I have another get, bag. I'm sure, I'm, sure you, yeah, I'm sure you have another bag that will be appropriate. Um. So, uh, yeah, so I might just, you know, get some tips hot as you're doing yours and just get mine done yeah. as well. Maybe. I'm I, going to Seattle. Maybe. Yes, we can have some. This is a good travel thought. project. It is a good travel project. And I haven't got another one at the moment. Well, yes, I do. No, I, I do. do need to get the right needles for it because I usually do my socks on DPNs. And I did look and we don't have the right needles. Oh. So, I mean, we have to order some next I week and season after. I'm not sure what size I'm using. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we have on the needles. And in between customers today, Susan kept going, what about this yarn for oh, this wow, project? This? Why don't we do it? And Carmen forgot what it's like working in the shop where you- For a full day. For a full and, day. And you're fully inspired by yeah. looking at yarn combinations. It's kind of how about... I got to like 30 whips in the first place. Yes, really. I can understand that. So <laughs> it, one has to be a little bit restrained and not mm. take it all home. And I've, I've sort of said, been very good today. I haven't bought anything. I said, well, if it's still there on Sunday mm -hmm. or Monday- 
then maybe it's meant to be mine. But, maybe. But I, and I have plenty at home to get on with. <laughs> what were the things you were looking at today, though? Oh, I was looking at doing an inclination shawl. Uh, not shawl, cowl. With, oh, yeah. Oh, it's good to do a shawl. That's the point. Oh, that's uh, a new that, made hers a shawl. That's in DK. You can do it. You could do it in the. I mean, either. yeah. You just don't have to sew it together, you basically. Sew it together. Yeah. But there is a shawl. There also is a shawl, yeah. In DK, I think. Okay. But you could just yeah, you could do, do, it do a that pointy whatever. one. Yeah. Anyway, um, in using, because I thought it'd be nice to have something done in next level for Seattle. No, no time pressure there either. Not much. But I really have to get my moon bumps done. That's mm, supposed mm -hmm. to be for Seattle, and I'll get it. I'll get. I'll get told off by certain boys if I don't have it done because because oh. they 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 think I'm really fascinated. They do. So I mean, I better, we all do. I better get that done. <laughs> um, but I was looking at combinations with Next Level because I just thought it'd be really nice to it have something done, nice. and I think it's really nice with the stone crop. So I will wait and see. See, I really want to do it with bad egg, but bad egg. I know. Well, bad you can't. Egg is gone. You can't. Bad egg's gone. So. That egg's gone. We know who bought that. It's all gone. We do know who bought yeah, that. Yeah, we know. We don't know where she is. <laughs> we know who it was. We know who it was. <laughs> She's a Taylor Swift fan. Not mentioning any names. Anyway, um, so we, I looked at that, and because uh, it's a nice, it's a nice knit. Like again, it's a nice. You don't have to think too much, and, and yeah. it's interesting. I always like to have a spin cycle project on the go whenever I'm doing something else, just to keep me, you know, interested. So that was one. Looking at lots of combination for Bella blocking with customers and yes, and you know, oh, wouldn't this I be am, amazing? I wouldn't love this be the black and blue. Oh, what we came up with today yeah, was like, yeah, yeah, we we got a really good, good. combo with fluff and tweed. Yeah. So that was exciting. Um, what else did we talk about? Well, um, I actually I have mine sitting here. We what? Easy V. Oh. Oh, so, yes. And that was the other thing. Our customer came in and wanted to do an EZV. Yeah. And so we started looking at new combos, combos. for EZV because we have such a lot. We have a lot of dream state dream at the moment. State, um, but in really good colors. We, yeah. I mean, I'm Very actually thinking of buying my skeins for the big shift, night shift shawl. Okay. Yes. It, or starting it and mm. then getting some while we're yeah. away. Um, but anyway, so Carmen's picked hers. Combo, yes, because I definitely want to do another easy V because I wear yes. that one all the yes. time. And it's a great sweater. It's a great sweater. Yeah. And I'd really and like to use knit. Beaver's Den for the background. It would be amazing. And then next we, level. We we were putting this color combo together for customers. Yeah. So Beaver's Den is our warm brown, dark, dark brown from Walcott Yarns Origin. Which is a great color. Almost black. Almost black. And then because of our customer. I put these two together, which is Rosy Maple and Holy Toledo. Holy Toledo is Toledo. So is such good. A good color. So Holy and Toledo is like rose, yeah. teals and blues and orange. Yeah. And then Rosy Maple is purples, yellows, oranges. Mm. So I need a third. And we have such a good batch of the Rosy Maple and, and Holy Toledo. Yeah. Toledo. That was launched at Rhinebeck and I, that was. I bought some. Katie bought some. We all bought some, I think. Oh, yeah, I have Katie's some in my stash. Do you have some as well? What did you buy? I don't remember. Yeah, well, it might have been plump. Like, maybe. Oh, you did buy the plump. You yeah. gave the plump and you gave it away. Did no, I, I did give some plump give away. Some, not that one. Not that one. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So there was talk of adding next level into yes. that, which is quite good. I might yeah. need to find a different, I might need to look through every single scheme to find the perfect one. The right one. So with, yeah, with that's the, the brown. That's the good thing about being yeah. a yarn shop it owner. Is. And the thing is, what we have to remember mm -hmm. is different bits will line up at different times. Exactly. Right? And so it will look amazing, whatever look, you do. It, what I've learned over the years of spin cycle is you can put almost any of them together. You can. And they will look you can. good. Yes. So there's next level. Or, I do quite like this one, Big Sky, which has yeah, some yeah. more neons in neons it. Neons in it. It's good. But I think, good. I mean, you got to use my next level, right? So I think you do. I think you need to just get a. But that is a phenomenal. Up. That's great combo. together. That's great together. Oh, why are that's, we out of focus all of a sudden? Okay, we're back. We're back. Um, that's a great combo. Mm -hmm. And I think you get a punchy next level in yeah. that. I was thinking about doing a more elegant easy V. In. Well, I was thinking about using fluff as the color work. Oh, okay. That was my kind of original thought. But um, now I'm really liking that. Just fluff on its own, yes. 
Uh, would I think you? I don't think I'd hold it double. I think I'd no. use it on its own. I think I'd have to play with gauge a bit. You might, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that'd be a bit it's like I put mohair in mine, well, exactly. so that would be quite interesting. Yes, yes. elegant, interesting. Mm -hmm. But I'm. I think yeah, that might be I more me. If that's probably more you. Mm -hmm. I thought you meant elegant, well, in terms of colorways. Um, but I was, I was, and I was looking also at that pale one. With another that was cream very one. nice. I made a white, I made a white one already, mm. and I love it. And I thought I'd use the Origin. Oh, can't reach it, but light. Uh, no, lighthouse. Lighthouse, yes, lighthouse. Like white, with, yeah. With some blues, which we're looking and, and oh yes, next level, and the two blues, um, Valley Girl, and the other one next door, yeah. Or next level one. It was definitely yeah. those two. It was those two, and uh, I think a, a next level, possibly. A bluey next level? Or, yeah. And so that was, yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Like that. On a white background. Yeah. Which I could reach if I stand up. Which... We are allowed to move. We are allowed to move. I need to move. <laughs> um, which is very me, and I think that would be rather... I've got the longer arms. you got the longer arms. I mean, I would love this too, but I'd spill stuff love. on the white. Yeah. That's really that's, good. As long as you don't wear it when you're making spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Although soak is amazing. Soak. Soaks everything out. Soak gets everything soak out. Soak gets everything out. Who knew? Yeah. I know now. I wish I'd had it a few years ago. <laughs> but anyway, but you can wear white. You're white. It's great on white linen, by the way. Oh, okay. Soak on white linen. Fantastic. Anyway, so I love that combination. Or I just make a big shift, night shift shawl. And also I good. Don't know. Also good. But I have yeah. a bunch of dream state sitting about yeah. for a night shift. I don't have much dream state. Oh, okay. Dream state is not something I have a lot of. Oh well. So I could start. So yeah. there could be some dream state in your future. There could be. I think there is probably. Okay. Seeing as we're going to Seattle, seeing as everyone's going to have a custom color. Yes, way. there are. So we keep talking about Seattle because we're going to flock. Remember, Walcott Yarns is vending at Flock. We will be vending with our friends Lake Arsons. So you'll be able to find Opus, Origin, and Fluff, plus some of the Lake Arsons hand dyed. I don't know exactly know which ones they're bringing, so I can't. More about reveal. this later. Yes. In um, July. No doubt. Yes, later in July. I think this episode's coming out in July, so. All right. Later in July. July. <laughs> oh, well, maybe we have to talk about it now. Then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, Flock is in Seattle, like, Right in downtown. I know. The right convention downtown. center. Convention center, yep. yeah. They do big. They, they do big. big, yes. Yeah. It looks like a beautiful space. There's like atriums and light. Yes, and it will be light. And yeah. Now. Yes, uh, gorgeous. And when was the last time you were on the West Coast? Uh, I'm trying to think. About 12 years, I think. Okay. Yeah. I haven't been in six. Right. So, so double. It's been a while since we've been. Yeah, it's been a while um, since I've been, that's for sure. And Seattle, I don't know. Long time. I 20 did, years more probably more than that did I go I did not actually go through Seattle on my last uh mm. road trip right before I left the mm. states we mm. did Spokane okay close. and Vancouver Vancouver Washington Canada Canada yes. okay and but you didn't stop in Seattle no we didn't stop but because we did it we yeah. like went through Spokane and then, okay yeah. yeah and then over to Montana yes, I think yes. is what we did yes. like that. yeah 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 so yeah it's gonna be Fun. Nice weather, yes. warm mountains and oh, oh, the sea, the sea, the mountains. Some yeah. favorite North American foods. Yes, yes, wines, wines, lovely wines. I think we're gonna go on a wine tasting in the Willamette Valley. Oh well, not you. Put your suitcase. But, oh. <laughs> <laughs> not me. I'll be in Vancouver. You'll be in Vancouver. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll do a wine tasting. I think nice. we should. Absolutely. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, wow. Well, coming up soon. It is. It's actually very soon. We well, need to get it's knitting. July on Monday. Crap. Yeah. Hmm. So there we are. Hmm. July. Well, would you like to show off what you've actually finished on? What I actually finished. Seattle. Because at our last team meeting, wasn't it? Yeah, we got a little excited at our last team meeting. We got all excited actually. about things. Whoops. Yep. And a bit like working in the shop. Hmm. It's so you get all the knitters together. It's so hot. <laughs> it's really. So we have these windows across the front of the shop, and we get the afternoon sunlight. So from about two o'clock this time of year, it basically just heats us like an oven. Okay. It's really quite warm. There's still a needle on here because That's I was doing some frantic sewing before I came out this morning. Anyway, this is 
<laughs> Inspired by Gisela, Carmen's mother. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the sauna sweater. No. Um, the Sunday, oops, the Sunday cardigan. Yeah. Uh, right over left. There we are. Um, in, it's, it's oversized, obviously. Very oversized. Um, but um, it's I, really cute. I though. have still got some ends because I didn't snip them yet. And I realized I should have sewn them in on the other side, but then on the right side, not the wrong side. But I will. Oh, because you're oh, Because I'm cuff. rolling up the cuffs like that. So that's mm -hmm. a top tip for next time. Um, sew them on the. Uh, darn, there's some in the ends there, but they'll disappear anyway, they'll be fine. Um, yeah, so it's got this really big ribbing at the top, uh, which is just flies by, flies out, size seven needles, which I happen to have. <laughs> oh, I'm covering my, my, yeah. my microphone, sorry, size seven needles. There we are. <laughs> just that side. <laughs> <laughs> my best side, not necessarily, my face isn't in there. Anyway, um, so size seven needles, which I had because of Max's, uh, this one here behind the us. The plump it up. The plump it up. So I already had some sevens detached, detachables. And um, yeah, so it's quite fun at the back. I yeah, think. it's really good. It's not it's cropped. No, it's not cropped. Um, but it's got this nice ribbing. It's that, very hot. It's very warm. You can take it off. Now. Um, and <laughs> it probably it never gets quite that cold here. But anyway, um, good for a chalet, ski chalet sweater. Yeah. Cardigan, throw it on. Um, oh, and that's in fluff and origin. Yes. However, it is quite light. Yeah. That's the thing when you use the fluff. Yep. But the thing is, the combination for chunky knits has just blown my mind. And I've already looking at other patterns. I'm holding so, it right up to the camera so right they can actually the see the That's sort of moral of the it. The moral, yeah. So, so it's cinema of fluff with petunia. petunia in origin, which is the brighter pink, actually. It is a brighter we pink. We had a little debate between about petunia and hippie heart. I didn't, you can sit down there. I didn't really want a Christmas. Well, well, I mean, I, I mean, I'd love a Christmas cardigan. So that would be my Christmas. Cardigan. Hippie heart is on the top, which is a redder pink, and then petunia is on the bottom, which is a pink pink. Uh, I don't know that it's showing up properly on camera. Um, and then cinema is a red red. Yeah. So it goes well with both of them. Mm -hmm. um, but the cinema with the hippie heart gives you a red red, definitely yes, very Christmassy. Very red. And I'm more pink kind yeah. of person. So um, either is really good though. Yeah, and the great thing about the pattern is the the button band is part of you don't. It's not an add-on. There's like no so finishing to there's this. There's no finishing. One. No, you're done. When you're done, you're done. So you just do the ribbing. You, seven mm -hmm. stitches. You put your markers in. Just do it. And then you've got a funny little make your finger, put your finger, and do a buttonhole thing. But uh, that, that'll work. My mom did not enjoy that. Part no, I know. But she was like, "Why is there no button?" I'll text her and get some tips. Um, and buttons. We don't. Well, we're, we haven't done the right buttons. Might yeah. have to order some buttons next week yes. um, for my cardigan. But um, yeah, and it's just. But they're looking at some other options like the um, my favorite things. Cardigan yes. Well, that was eight. another one that a customer came in with today, and we thought, well, that's a really good one for an origin fluff and a cagey pattern as well. Mm. That someone came in to do. So yep. I mean, anything that's in snethnag or chunky anything, yes. snethnag and chunky anything, um, mm. and combinations and it just literally flew off my needles yep. even though it was knit one row pearl a row it's still it's not knitting in the round knitting in the round would just fly but I think I, I think cardigans in that are just yeah. the way forward and the amazing thing I haven't told you this this oh. is a surprise is that four skeins of Walcott oh okay four four nothing no and three what and a quarter about a fluff. Oh wow! Okay. So, way more fluff left over. Yeah. Um, although I kind of fiddled it in my Ravelry page and said it was the same because I thought otherwise I'll get too many questions. <laughs> Why is it the same? I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's the wrong thing to do. Yeah, but now you've <laughs> just told everyone. I told everyone. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought, oh, people are going to go. That doesn't. Happen. Anyway, maybe I should be be honest. I'll be honest. Sorry, I'll, I'll fix that. I'll fix that. Put it back. I, don't, I never put the amount of yarn I use, but I just I thought it's time to get organized because people have been DMing me and asking me. So, so well, it's I, good because you're becoming a knit influencer. A knit influencer. So I need to keep my notes properly. Yes, you do. I do. So, mm -hmm. so 3.2 of fluff. That's very good. Something like that. I weighed it, but I, I mean, just my memory. But I thought that was really interesting because 
there's way more than 200 yards on this. 200 yeah. meters. Um, because they're both supposed to be the same. No, really? that's 191. Okay, and this is 200. And that's 200. Yeah. So I still had like 50, 60 meters maybe left. Because right. I had three, two, two thirds, three quarters of a skein okay. of the fluff left. Mm. So enough for a hat. Yay. Put it together with something for a hat. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that was interesting because mm. way more left and, and that's nice. Um, and the fluff, you know, two skeins for a ranunculus, four skeins for that. So it doesn't, it doesn't make it, you know, too, you know, pricey. I mean, if you start No, adding, not at all. If you start yeah. adding in mohairs and chunky, you know, whatever. I to mean, make that. this is a big reason why we designed fluff the exactly. way we designed it, right? Is because it Max can do anything. It can do a lot of things. Like yeah. Max was always designing with like two strands of mohair, well, mm -hmm. mostly sturdy. Mm -hmm held together plus something else because that was the texture he liked. Yes. And there's a lot of things with, yeah, two strands of mohair plus something or, yes. and fluff will take the place fluff of will. that. And when you block the combination, mm. it just really bloomed, didn't yes. it? And it blocked out and it dried yeah. yesterday. Yeah. That's the, good, the table. In that's the, the good thing the about sun, the summer. The shade. <laughs> so it was a uh, heavyweight coming mm. out of the, the water but um, quite heavy yes we got there we did yeah two towels yeah. later so yeah <laughs> so that was that was a great net so up on to the next thing what else do you have on the needle susan oh oh yes i forgot yes i made her she made me do it re-engage um, with the project yesterday yes I <laughs> so i have the rubinia light which I got all excited about a bit a year ago, mm -hmm. a bit more than a year ago, and um, using is spinny and mohair, and I was going to do a color blend from warm cream down to hot pink, and I had it all. You ooh, swatched the color blend. I swatched blend the even. color blending. I was nitfluenced by things on Instagram. I'm pretty like, sure I'm we have a this. podcast episode where we you might. show. I think we we'll probably do, and um, and anyway, I got going great guns, and then mm -hmm. I didn't quite read the pattern the way it's supposed to be and uh, I put it away and I didn't know and then Carmen questioned me on it yesterday I said why aren't you working why aren't you finish that why and I said oh because I I don't know why I don't know why so I took it out and we looked at it we investigated we did and um the reason why is because I didn't do enough rows on my first three or yeah. my first two so I did like 12 instead of 14 and I thought oh it looks okay because it's the same on the back no, it doesn't because it won't work. It won't go down it to the sleeves. It won't actually hit your armholes. I won't get yeah. my armholes because I'm short several rows. So what I did was I did the short rows and then I did half of the bit after the short rows because of the way mm -hmm. I read the pattern incorrectly. So <laughs> I handed it to Carmen and said, rip it out, please. Rip I was it like, out. Mm -hmm. it out. and it's mohair and spinny. So it's um, actually but, it unraveled it quite, very yeah. easily. Yeah, now I the, separated the yarns and it was all fine. Little balls. So, so Carmen left and I sat down and I got the first on the front yay. done. So yay. Good job. With my short rows and everything. And I probably did the short rows wrong as well. Uh, not the first time. The first time. Yeah. I think I probably added stitches instead of yarn overs. So I now understand the pattern more clearly and um hoping to carry on with that although it's kind of it's back into the bag a bit but um no but it's not a travel project because it's too many colors yeah there are a lot of so it's a sit down at home a lot of management yarn management with your maker's board and your pattern and read it and mm -hmm. but i think i'm getting the hang of it now um but because i've done this blend and then we changed the blend as well mm -hmm. because it wasn't quite right. We made Maybe a that's slightly why better stopped. gradient. A better gradient. Maybe that's why I stopped as well. So, but um, having done the Bella blocking, I got my head around, you know, how Anne does everything, yeah. and I'm, I'm, I'm really, I am excited about that one. Very excited to get back to that. It's, it's like a lightweight. It will be mm. a light. It's on a three and a half. Yeah. So it's not my jam either, but my jam's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well, then you should do the Badger and Bloom you were also looking at earlier today. I was also looking at colors for Badger and Bloom because I've got some of the yarn for that and some of that. I have like, quite a bit of yarn at home. Anyway, um, and then there's other things aren't there. But so what's on my needles? That's my needles. The the Moon Bumps is on my needles. Yeah. The Pair of Socks. Right. And something will have to be started in Spin Cycle probably, but I'm not sure what. Well, we'll see after the after inventory what's left in the shop. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think I think I've got plenty okay. to get. Um, 
Although I really like that number eight cardigan with the V. I thought that, that was really good. I, was thinking, I, I see, am definitely what? thinking of uh, an origin I was thinking, fluff combo. I was thinking um, uh, 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 Glacial Depths and uh, 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 Wild River. Yes. Well, oh, Cascade Sunset? No, no Pacific. Yeah, Pacific. Oh. Glacial Depths. So I was thinking Pacific. Glacial Depths and Wild River. Okay, well, you can do that. I can do <clears> that. I mean, that is very good. Because that's, that's so glacial good. depths is our blue, and then Pacific is our sort of teal blue so, in the origin. It's really good. You know, we need samples. <laughs> yes, we do need samples. <laughs> I don't need any more sweaters. <laughs> no cardigans. Uh, um, also, but I've also been looking at the Edinburgh Lanes because I just think, oh, our it's kits. A good shawl. Kits. Actually, and I'll I've never grab done, that one. And I've never done that much lace i mean my first lace is the ranunculus and I, I i think i made one mistake so i'm quite happy about that but yeah um so yeah i was thinking oh that would make be a nice travel i'm going to yeah, portugal so for a week the, and i was thinking that might be a nice travel project this is the edinburgh lane shawl by helen stewart aka curious handmade and she designed this five years ago for the 2019 uh, Edinburgh Yarn Festival, and it was collaboration between Helen, myself, and Magpie Fibers. So this is Magpie Fibers Swanky Sock, mm -hmm. um, and oh, I'm on my microphone now. So Magpie Fibers already had a color called London Rain. So London Rain is one of the original colors, which is kind of a gray with speckles, you know, think rain, moody, London. Mm -hmm. And then Paris Train, which turns out we are sold out of, which is the white with the blue speckles in here. Oh, okay. So those two colors oh, already okay. existed. Yes. And um, then um, fading was very in at the time. This is like before your knitting time. It was. A fade, we loved a fade back then. Fade. Uh, so Damie developed Edinburgh Lane, which is the darker, the even moodier yes. sort of version with the same blues. Cobblestones. Yes, cobblestones. Wet cobblestones. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then Helen did her magic and made a fade-ish, but also did her beautiful like lace panels that she likes to do, mm -hmm. a bit of striping. It's a lovely asymmetric shawl. It's very wearable. Um, and it's funny because we just pulled this out of the sample sort of archives we have downstairs. Like we, we change up samples quite a bit. Yeah. And I was looking at this, I was like, that was such a good pattern. That was it's so nice. It's a great pattern. And then Helen like re-released it. The same. It's like week. the universe is just. Yeah, it was great. Yeah. So we have we Together. do have kits for this now, and I'm going to talk to Damien and see if we can get the original back because Edinburgh Lanes doesn't exist as a no, as a color yeah. color uh, yeah. standard. Yeah. So swanky socks. So, swanky swanky socks. So nice. So so as the Paris train is gone and there's no Edinburgh Lanes, <laughs> well make up your own. But I think that'd be nice. It would be nice. But forcing me into something a little bit, I think. Gee, yeah. there's a blue in there. No, surprise that. But um, you can show that to the camera. And <laughs> it's uh, maybe a, a bit less moody, but I, I would wear that. Yeah. Or the green. So London Rain on the bottom, which is the speckles alloy, which is a cool gray in the middle. And then it is topped off oh, with in the navy, which is a navy. Yeah. Let's call that a French navy. Yeah. More of. Navy. In the navy, yeah, yeah. No, that's good. And and there's other combinations on the um, yeah. We've done some nice combos on the, on the website, on but the website. number one is sold out. Yeah. So last one went out today. It did. Uh, so right, that's good. So that's just a, a, you know plans and then plans. and then there's stash. But you just organized your stash though. I did, which is always a fun activity. Yes. Didn't mean I went through it all and decided what No, I but it's it. now neatly organized. It's neatly organized in bins yeah. under the stairs. Perfect. Yeah. So it doesn't look so, quite so overwhelming. And it's not that much, but I am taking a suitcase maybe. Just, well, I'm not. I'm still carrying on. <laughs> Susan thinks she's going to go to a yarn festival on the west coast of America with a carry-on <sighs> suitcase. And a visit to Bellingham. <laughs> and a visit to Bellingham. Spin cycle. To spin HQ. cycle HQ. So, so not... Let's so, all tell Susan. I book the suitcase. I know. Book the suitcase. I'll, book, I'll book the suitcase. <laughs> I will. I just don't want to schlep around with the big suitcase. But they're yeah. on wheels. Now, they're on so wheels. They'll be fine. Yeah. Don't have to lift it. All right. So shall we get to 
our Q and A. Q and A. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. So first one I think is very much for me. How do you decide on a yarn to carry? There are so many fabulous yarns. You can help with this a bit because you have come to H and H with me. Yeah. On a buying trip. Yeah, and so different ways. Yes. Staff pressure. <laughs> No names mentioned. You really should get this in. You really should get this in, Carmen. I think you should get this in, Carmen. I've told you about this. You really should get this. Carmen, are we getting this? Okay. That's one way. But that's uh, not that's not the most That is common. not the most that's common. That's the least common. common. That, that's that is, after all the other ways. That is after all the other ways. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so. Which is mostly me falling in love with the yarn. Yeah. And then investigating if I really like the yarn. So whether that's I met it in person at an event, or I've seen it online, or um, it's a re just a really interesting fiber combo. Uh, I have to fall in love with it. Yes. Like, I have to really like it to yes. bring it in. Yeah. Yeah, so we go to shows. We go, we go to, shows. to shows. Yeah. We went to H&H. Uh, Trade well, we show. went this year, but yeah. the previous year saw some new things yes. and got a few things in. Mm -hmm. And that's gone well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, and more more types of Isiger, Isiger for or yes. or Isaiah, what do you, and because we saw it in person, we saw the samples, we saw mm. all that. That's that some of the yarn combos that in the... really influence the the colorways. Yeah, we and definitely more things getting in. picked a couple of things we probably wouldn't have had we not seen yes. them in person. Yes, um, that's the type of brand too that's really good to see in person because. It's all about making your own fabric. Right. So seeing their yeah. samples knit up with lots of different yeah, combos. yarn combos yeah. is like, oh. Yeah. Because we don't always have time to make a sample or a swatch yeah. for every combo yeah. imaginable. No. Um, no. And I think there must be an element of it's unusual. You like to have things that I do. are a little bit I do. different. Yes. Maybe? Well, I don't we everywhere. don't have anything. Yeah, we don't have anything that you would find in a department store. No. So if you could find it in like John Lewis. We don't have it. We don't have it. No. Um, except for the Toft kits, but that's a different story because there are like yeah. and 2,000 different animals you can have. <laughs> John Lewis is a big department store. If they're right big over the here. pond. What would you even like in that too? In North I don't know. We, well, JC Penny, Penny, but yeah. a bit more up market. A little bit up, more up market. Yeah. And I don't know, does, did JC Penny do like craft? I have no idea. I mean, we we John Lewis does time, kind yeah. of... They have haberdashery. Yeah, they have haberdashery yeah, yeah. as well. It's a big section. Well yeah. Um, but but mass buying. So, um, yeah, so nothing like that. No, and I just don't see the point in also the race to the bottom. No. No, there's no point. No, no point. Um, yeah. Our rent is too high in Bath. <laughs> yes, that's right. And <laughs> and also we're providing a you know a niche service. And I think the other the other thing is you like to support small yes. niche producers. Yes. Not necessarily always hand dyers. No. But, but people who have a vision, who yes. are doing something that you feel you want to support. Yeah, so that's that is where very true. The smaller yeah. international yeah, and nothing UK that's brands. Really mass produced no. in in a, a mill that has to run like a ton of yarn yeah, or a ton of fabric or a ton of fiber, fiber through, through to get yeah. Um, yeah. the yarn. No. So it's yeah. very much, yeah, we support other businesses like us. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And we know the owner of almost every brand we stock. I'm trying to think of a brand I don't know the owner of or have like never talked never to the owner. Never talked to the owner. Um, um, not really. Not really. No. No, I mean, I probably know Camaro's the least. Yes. But the owner is the one who sends the emails. Yeah, and it's so, a big <laughs> seller. Yeah. It's very um, popular. But it's loved. Most of the all. other brands I can even call the brand owners my friends. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, so. that's developed over the years. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, and so that's the other one. Way. Yeah. But and sometimes the, the team pressures me. Sometimes. Occasionally. That's actually how we ended up with Knitting for Olive. Is it? Mm. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, that was a go. Kaylee and Marissa double team. Right. Yeah. And then Ritual dies. 
rich will die. Is that no? I meant oh, you knew about it. So yeah, yeah. It, no, I you um, had it on your. Radar. I had it on my radar. Yeah. This this is the thing too. I think sometimes the team doesn't think I have things on my radar. Yeah, you have it on your radar. Sometimes they send me things like, "Have you seen this? We should get this in." I'm like, "Yep, yep. been watching yeah, that for six months." Six months. Thanks. Have my eye on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See how it goes. See how it goes. We just can't always have everything. Yeah. And then All suddenly else. you bring things in like a surprise. Surprise. And nobody had it on yeah. their radar, and it's here. I did though. You surely, did. Brian. Yes, you did. We need some more of this. Do you? You do need more. That's one of the so, shelves that's looking sad post. Yeah, too sad. And, and Ushi Tita. Ushi Tita, you both. Steffi and yes. um, Jurgen. Yes. Um, you've not met them in person. No. So Steffi's also quite tall. Is she? Okay. And we always get a photo together. Right. And Jurgen is the worst photo taker okay. of tall people. Oh, oh so he looks short. Tall. So he takes it, like, she's a Don't gorgeous know. woman yes. as well. Yes. And the two of us look hideous. Like, we look terrible in every photo of right. us together. Okay. Right. It's all well, Jurgen's fault. Right. No. Um, so now it's like a thing. Mm. Of I haven't mm. seen them in quite mm. a while. Mm. But yeah. So that's so, how we... That's how we decide. Yeah. You decide. Yeah. Well, we all decide. We, we all decide. decide. There's... It's slightly Anyways. democratic and then I say yes or no. <laughs> no. And they say no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is probably my favorite submission. Okay. It says, Bugger. I thought of a really good question the other day, now had a glass of wine and forgot. Right. Guess the customer. And we're pretty sure we know who this was. We do. <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure this was Gail? Oh, maybe. 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 <laughs> Been sunny. So if you think of that question, Again, come back to us. Come back to us. <laughs> no names mentioned. We have several places you can submit questions. So I think on the podcast section of the website... Uh, so up in the blog section, okay. you can go to podcasts mm -hmm. and there's a big, like a big old button that James has put there okay. where you can submit question. a question. That's good. And then big he, we put it up in stories sort of okay. regularly. Great. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I've seen that. Now, what's your favorite older pattern that you would knit again or knit for the first time? Hmm. I might have to think about that while you answer it. I've got several. Have you? Well, you, you start while I think. <laughs> Uh, so, the first thing how that comes... Old? How old is old? Well, it can be as old as you want it to be. Okay. Um, the first thing I'm, that is coming to mind is a pattern that was knit in pebble originally. It's a cocoa knit. Pebble. You don't even know pebble. I don't even know pebble. pebble. Before, your time, yeah, before my time, Shibui knits pebble, Shibui pebble is one of the most glorious yarns that has ever existed. It, I think it has come back now. Oh, okay. Because um, the company closed like a year ago. I think someone has brought the yarn back. It okay. is stunning yarn. It's a three ply merino cashmere recycled silk, oh. like tweedy yarn. Oh, it sounds gorgeous. It's, it's such a beautiful yarn. And it is something we had from the beginning and then okay. it just got too expensive to stock. Right. Like it's yeah. 25 grams and it was suddenly, I think it got up to like 26 pounds. Of, there you go. Yeah, it was really. Mm. It just got too expensive to stock. Okay. Um, I do have a sweater quantity sitting in my stash somewhere. Okay. There you are. All right. So, uh, I amazing. think it's called the Bella by Coconut. Yeah. yeah. So, Bella by Julie Weisenberger. One of my favorite patterns of all times. Okay. It is so flattering. It's so clever. And it's so simple. You've probably never seen this. No. Uh, we'll definitely get a photo of oh. it. Oh. Yeah. It can be knit in a ton of different yarns, mm. and it's basically a rectangle, right? Sort of like this, and the arms literally do that, do that, and, and then you, you put, put it on, on and, it's, and then it, it drapes in a bias. Oh, amazing! And it goes off over your shoulder, and okay. you can do it in the linen. You can do nice. it in a pebble. You can do it in a bunch of things, oh, okay. and it's oh, it is. I like the sound of that. Chef's kiss. Um, I like the sound of that. Yes, that was a really popular pattern. Okay. Eight years ago, Eight maybe. Years ago. Okay, so that's yeah. I still haven't that knit counts. it, but I yeah, I, like love it as a pattern. Mm. Okay. Um. So that's my first one. Do you have any in the meantime? <laughs> well, I mean, the one I knit time and time again. I don't know how old it is. Is the night is the shift? Oh, the yeah. cowl. I mean, yeah. we always talk about that, but I knit that over and over again. Mm -hmm. Um. But I mean, my knitting time doesn't go back far enough really to know a pattern. Mm. Um. Although I, I wouldn't mind doing a like a proper Icelandic again, oh, you know, yeah. like in the yeah. nineteen seventies that we knit. Well, and you really enjoyed needles. your Celine, 
which was kind mm, of kind of that that's that, that vibe yeah. that's what I did but that kind of in the round mm. quite thick yarn um what we called Icelandic mm. and knit and knit again and yeah felt like we were amazing when I was about 12 or 13. Well you were amazing um to knit that so that was fun but it actually it was cold enough to wear them um so that's that's a really old thing but um other than that I don't know I've been knitting long enough to have a favorite old pattern well but, um, just looking back through my favorite, old, so old um, ravelry yeah. ravelry yeah. uh does anyone remember color affection the color affection shawl that was probably the pattern that like made me a knitter okay so this is knit in dublin had a knit along okay. for it and i had i'd kind of i was just turning the corner of like Becoming a real knitter. Okay. I didn't have okay. friends in Ireland. You no, know. no. So, so, so you I was like, have a stash, but you I had, didn't have a stash. You, you had made a couple of things. I'd made a couple of things. to the yarn shop. Yeah, I was, I'd taken a class. You and I you hanging out there yet? Not mm, quite. I was, quite. I was still I being a bit like, bit coy. And, quite. and I was at that place too where it was novel. Yes. So everybody was like, oh, make me a hat. Oh, yes. So right. Made lots of hats. So I made a lot of hats for people. Yes, of course. And then they did this knit along for color affection. It's a very addictive pattern. It's Vera Velamaki. I didn't have a clue who she was at the time. No, you know, um, she's a very popular Finnish designer. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, this pattern, and it is the first time I used short rows. Oh, okay. It's a Got three everything. color stripe. Um, that is the pattern. Oh, okay. Yes. Let, let me just we'll get it up quick, for you all. A quick look. Um, Oh, fun. I made three of them. You made three of those. I wow. made three of them. I made one and, for my mom. And by then two. you were full blown. And then Conver by that point, I was like, this is the most amazing thing. And also at the time, I was like, this is the most amazing pattern I've ever seen. Okay. This is like the there most fun I've ever had. I just kept going in to buy more color combos. And buy more things. I think I have yarn in my stash to make like three more of them. Okay. Because I was gifting them? very into it. Yeah, that was back when I was able to knit so much. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll make you something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um... Nice. Looks very wearable. It is very wearable. It's really cute. All right. Let's see if we can come up with one more pattern. I actually think the Easy V. Yeah, I was going to say the was Easy V. That was a great knit. Really good knit. I mean, I'm thinking about making it again. Mm -hmm. Me too. And, and it's, it's, it's so interesting. The mm -hmm. neckline is so interesting and simple, but not simple. Yeah. Well, it is simple to knit, but... It, um, and just the color work and the combinations you could do. You could just, as you said, yep, swap out fluff for, yep. for um, spin cycle, add a mohair, do two colors together, um, lots of different versions. There is, okay, I'm going to bring up another pattern okay. that I haven't made yet, but I do have yarn in my stash for this. Another one of my, like, I don't know why I haven't made this because it's so stunning. It is called Mangata by Candice Konitzer. Uh, it's in Julie Aslan Lazy Worsted, oh. which I don't know if she does anymore. Mm. But it's a merino cashmere silk oh. worsted weight. Oh. Useful. Oh, yeah. It's really cute. It, off the from shoulder. An, it's off the, I think there's a theme. It's off the shoulder. I think there is. It's Easy textured thing. with like slip oh, stitches. Yeah. That's wonderful. Um, it has. It's from yeah, it's pom pom a pom pom quarterly from okay. 2015. Okay, nice. That yeah, we'll get a photo up for you guys so you can see it. Um, yeah, but it has these like it's off the shoulder. It's mm. got like slip stitch textures. Mm -hmm. I literally have exactly those colors sitting in a box. You have somewhere. them. I have them. Wow, I have the yarn for that. You have the yarn. Yeah. Well, you got to do it then. I know. It's so That's isn't great, that so me? That's a great. Yeah, and the the drape of that that yarn must be amazing. Yeah, that yarn is amazing. I mean, I, I like the the what, what we have. The DK. Yeah, so we have the DK. we have the lazy DK, which is a merino silk, mm -hmm. and then we have the fino, yeah. which is four ply, and that's merino cashmere silk. silk yes. So the late no, what is it? Basically, I have the worsted, the worsted weight of, of the, the fino. fino. Ooh, okay. And then you use the fino for the cuffs. Okay. And the ribbing. Wow. Yeah, because it's folded over. Good folded over. Okay. So amazing. lush. Oh. I need more knitting time. Dreamy. Yeah. Okay. More flights. So I think that's actually our Q&A. Okay. Great. Uh, which leads us actually into our lessons in knitting. Lessons in knitting. Which, okay. What, which is how to choose the right yarn for your project. The right yarn. The right yarn.
Right. <laughs> Best to go to a yarn shop where they know what they're talking about. <laughs> I mean, yes, but let's give some advice as yarn advice. shop yes. workers. Yes, well, no, that's, that's where you start. But, um, uh, well, <laughs> read the pattern mm -hmm. carefully. Um, swatch. Yes. Be, be prepared to swatch. Yes, uh, be prepared to swatch. Also, you want to think about the fabric. Yes, what do, you, what do you want it to be like in the end? Because yarns have very different properties. Absolutely. And that is all dependent on the fiber that they're using, which we can get really nerdy about mm -hmm. at some point, maybe mm -hmm. with a guest who is really nerdy about fiber. Maybe. Maybe. Because yes. um, I won't do it justice, so I don't want to go too down, too far down. No, no, that's probably I know, it's way beyond me as yeah. well. Um, so... But if you want something drapey, like you want it to just like fall mm. over you, you're looking at your softer, drapier fibers, alpacas, silks, cashmeres. Yeah. You want something with structure, you're looking at your woolier things. Woolly wool. Yeah. 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 Or you want something in between, you mix your yarns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so if you want, um, you know, something with the structure, but a bit of, softness then you add a mohair to yeah. uh, a woolly wool even I mean the mohair with the jensen or or you know that that just takes it to another level yeah Amanda's uh, sweater with that color it, it's is unbelievable amazing. it is and they're made to go together mm -hmm. and you would think oh that's quite you know that, that's quite woolly the mm -hmm. jensen mohair and then you put them together and you've got structure of the Jensen mm -hmm. with the softness of the mohair yes. and it just blends the whole thing yeah. doesn't it um um so you can blend but then that's not everyone's cup of tea but it's it's what what you want it to and to I think the important thing do. is that if your pattern says you need a four ply or your pattern says I need a DK like all four plies do not equal no. all four plies and no, all DKs exactly. do not equal DK so you do need to look at the fiber content yes of the yarn you were choosing yes. or substituting. Yes. And you need to look at things like the spin of it, the yes. twist. The twist, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. that, those are the two things I would look at immediately. Yeah. And if you're looking at something that maybe knit with a machine washable yarn yes. versus a non-machine washable. Yes. Because the process that wool goes through in order to make it machine washable mm -hmm dramatically changes the properties of the, of the fiber yeah. and the yarn yeah. and will behave yeah. very, very, very differently. differently. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. And the same with chunkies. Not all chunky is going to be the nope. same. Some and of it will get very heavy. Some will be heavy. And then you'll and be like, I'm, I'm down to like sinking floor, under my and the weight. It will just loft and be yeah. poofy. So, yeah. Which is why the origin fluff is such a good combo for, for the chunky. Because mm -hmm. it's not going to drag. No, and it's not you. heavy. Yeah. It's not heavy. Though it's a warm sweater, it's not a heavy sweater. Yes. It's not what I call a heavy sweater. Yeah. So um, my mother used to say, put a heavy sweater on when it's cold. <laughs> it's because you grew up in Canada. I did. <laughs> cold, cold Canada. Yeah, oil side heating. Anyway, yeah. So, I mean, that's, I mean, when someone comes in with a pattern, I always start with what it recommends. Mm. Check it against that yarn on, on the internet. Yeah. And, and then Make it something we don't know. That we don't yeah. know if I don't know it. And then check what we have that is similar fiber content and then um, usually it comes down to color. <laughs> yes, it, it does often come down to color in the shop. And I would also say, but don't, just making sure. <laughs> yeah, don't be afraid to play with yarn choices and play with fabrics that you're making. Like that's the best part yeah. of this. That's what you're doing. You can yeah. do whatever you want, exactly. really. It's your and project. That's fun. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm. So I think that's uh, your fun. Or, you know, take Susan's original advice and go into your local yarn shop <laughs> <laughs> or email them or, you know. Ask questions. Ask plenty of questions. Yeah, I mean, happy. we certainly don't mind answering them. No, no. Emails, patterns, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, will this work for that type thing? We get that quite a lot. We're happy to, happy to answer yeah. them. And, so and you're, a good yarn shop yeah. will not yeah. be mad about answering no. those kind of questions. No, absolutely not. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. And we'll always find something. We will always find something. I'm it sure. is very rare that we have to say we really don't have anything. Uh, exactly. That will suit that. No, it is. It is a rare thing. Yeah. 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 Um, oh. yeah. So those are your questions for this week. Those. Are, mm. That's your lesson in knitting. Fantastic. I think it's time for us to go home. Yes. I've got to be back in the shop tomorrow. 
You do. I don't. I'm back Sunday. I still have count. A bunch of admin to do for Sunday. Uh -huh. um, but thank Labels. you. Thanks for for joining me after thank you. hours. Thank you for having me. It's been <laughs> a long day. It's been a very long day. <laughs> I don't day. even know what time it is. Peaches okay. is so over us. She's Peaches, just dead she's asleep. She's dead there. asleep <laughs> and having like, dreams yeah. and ready to go home. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much for joining us again this week. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and share us with your friends. Yes. Comment, comment, um, ask questions, ask questions, and uh, keep watching. Yes. Yeah. See you next time. Bye.